Chain here with another video. I've been getting over the year, past year or so, people keep asking me questions about my backpack. And uh, I thought about doing a video on the backpack, but it's not a common man price item at all. It's real it's it's very expensive, but uh, it's all made in America in Montana. So because of that, I've been a little bit reluctant to uh, do a video on my backpack but I'm tired of answering the same questions about it so I'm gonna do a video on it and show you what it does why I carry it and all that happy stuff hey guys I'm back I had to move the camera to a place that wasn't very windy out of the wind you can see in the background, this is a classic depression on your map. Here's a terrain feature, a minor terrain feature. Classic depression. It's right next to a pond, too. So if I start digging, you can find some water. Coyote water. Anyway, here's my pack. So this is my uh, summer pack out. You know, it's about. Uh, 35 pounds. Okay. Now, like I said, this is the Mystery Ranch mo uh, maker. This model is called a crew cab and it sits on top of a nice frame. Nice as in N I C E. That's the name of the frame. Nice. Uh, it's actually, it's, the frame is a technically an external frame just like the Alice pack it's padded shoulders uh, this adjusts up and down to fit your torso length so that's good it's got padding mole adaption here all right so I'll go through a couple things so right now I have it packed for how I use it the way it works, it's it's, kind of, it's almost like a Roy Croft frame where everything gets lashed on. So on here, everything is uh, it's strapped on buckles. So this is the frame. So I have webbing with quick release buckles. Two on each side and two on the top. Then I unbuckles it. So I got my old blanket, my dry bag with my 10 C's in it, and the uh, this is this would be your your lid, your lid cover over a, a normal backpack. It's got a Got a pocket here and a pocket here. This comes off itself and turns into a backpack. Straps are tucked away. You just untuck them. Now you got a backpack or a scout or whatever. Uh, what I like to do on this one is, because I carry my haversack all the time, I'll clip this side diagonally. I'll clip it diagonally so that I can wear it diagonally and then I have the haversack strap going the other way. And that works out for me. So that's the day pack. So here's the crew cap. Okay. Now, this pack is designed for hunters, really. So let me show you how it's designed for hunters. You clip here on top. You clip the sides.
Okay, so tuck those in. And so basically, you have a nice small lightweight uh, day pack for hunting. You can fit, you have your uh, rain gear in this here, or whatever, and uh, you have your two Gaiot bottles on the side. So like I said, this is made for hunting. It's designed for hunting, uh, mainly big game hunting. Uh, say you make a kill and you field dress it out way out there in the woods. Now you got to haul the meat back in. Well, this expands. This expands, this drops down. And then you have two long pockets that also clip that fold out. In here is the, uh, a space for your uh, camelback if you want. I keep my axe in there. Uh, maps or paperwork or whatever you can put in there. So this folds out. And now these clip to here. This clips to here. Now you have storage space for all the meat that you just field dress. You throw it in there, cinch it down. Now you can haul your meat back to camp. Um, now, with that said, this is this backpack. It, it's on the heavy side. Uh, I want to say it's either. Six, it's either six or nine pounds, empty, so it's on the heavy side, but it's built for carrying a heavy, heavy load. I've, I've had over a hundred pounds in this pack before. Uh, it's comfortable, it's not, I mean, a hundred pounds is a hundred pounds, but it's, for, for a hundred pounds, it's, it was pretty comfortable hiking with that. So, that's what it's designed for. And like I said, on the side it has long pockets for a scope, spotting scope, or whatever, bank line, in my case bank line, or something long. So in the winter time when I'm carrying more stuff, more crap, I got the side pouches, I can put more stuff in it. Um, for trapping season, I can have my... <sighs> plastic bucket put the plastic bucket in here and now I can put my fauna bears and whatever in here all the stinky bait and all that stinky stuff can go right in the plastic bucket I can haul it right in this pouch I can keep my rain gear my uh, 5c's emergency stuff you know fire kit So that's another option. I've had my son in here too. When we were hiking and his legs got too tired, I, I've thrown him in here. So that's another option. What else do I do with it? So, uh, when you use it in the long pockets, you can put a big dry bag when you have a lot of stuff, like I said. What else? Um, also, you can use it as a camp chair. Oh, the camera's getting this. You clip the sides. here All right. and then you can sit on here and use this as a time. Now it's a camp chair. You relax, listen to the wind, birds, whatever. You, know, you can use your binoculars. 
<laughs> Probably turkey hunt. I haven't tried turkey hunting, but. Anyway, that's, that's the camp chair model. To make it even lighter, you can do you can take the nice pack. You can take the uh, crew cab, which is the pack, off the frame. So do, to do that, you just take take this strap off. Take that strap off. And then, oh, I got tape. That strap is a quick release buckle here and here. And then the whole thing slides off. So there's the crew cap. And here's the frame. Okay. On the top, it's got one, two, three sets of female uh, quick release on the sides also. Uh, male. So with this, with the frame just like this, now you can start, you can strap uh, bags to it, just like the Roy Croft, but more expensive version. I don't know if you saw, I did a video where I did just this for a, uh, a long hike that I did. Lighten the load. Worked out very well. So, little blanket. Go and let's see. Put my dry bag on it. Okay, there you go. That's a minimalist. Okay. And that right there, I don't know. 20 pounds, it's very light. I keep hearing footsteps, I... Could be a squirrel, could be a deer, I don't know. Um, so where was I? So yeah, this is your light option right there. And you can strap anything you want on here. You know, firewood, whatever you want. So this is called the nice frame. Okay. All right. So uh, one thing I wanted to cover is uh, what they they have little bags that go inside here. Actually, I should have showed you the bag before I took this off. But inside here they make nice bags. They're they're called cell load bags, and they they're designed to fit in here. Fully expanded. So I got one in my dry bag. And I like these bags because uh, one, they're camouflaged so I can stash them if I have to. Uh, they're somewhat waterproof. Okay. So here's a nice bag. On the bottom, it has a quick release with the strap so I can strap it to something. On the top, Let me show you this. on the top, on the top, another quick release it opens like that, and it has a water-resistant 
uh, zipper. Heavy duty zipper. It opens up. Inside here I have the, uh, the 10 C's covered. Space blanket, bank line, block, uh, stakes, bungee cords, uh, the heavier bank line, uh, trash bag, duct tape, uh, tarp, and a couple of other stuff, bandana, and a couple of other things. Just in this bag I have the 10 C's. So if I, another option I have, if I want to take my day pack, my haversack, and go on a quick scout, if I need to take this, what I can do is take out my strap that I keep in this bag, now I got a bag. One more thing to strap up over my shoulder. So I can get this. I got that. And the haversack. Right now, this is pretty light. You know, I can have a canteen and uh, some of the 10 C's in here. I got all of the 10 C's in here, and I got some miscellaneous stuff in this day pack. So, this is pretty light. This is a, for light for a, a short scout or something. You know, this is a, very renewable. And again, I can stash the backpack, I can stash it someplace. And just wear this, go on a scout, go hunting or whatever, come back, set up camp. So, that's pretty much it about the, my backpack. Again, it's uh, one more thing that's versatile, it's multi function, it has a lot of uses. Yeah. It's more it's kind of like the transformer of backpacks. It, you can do you can do whatever you want with it. You know? So this is my strap. This is just uh, webbing that I uh, stole from the army when I left. It's uh, hollow. That's not the right term. Tube. It's tubular webbing. So that goes in there. And again, so these are made to fit into the crew cab. And then they lock up like that. And you can buy, I've had three crew uh, cell, load cells in here. So they stack up about this high clip it and you put the day pack over that. Uh, what else can I show you about the backpack? No, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this bag, what I keep in there is you got a, a pouch for maps, for maps, pencils or whatever. I keep my watch cap in there for overnight. Even in the summertime, I, I bring one of these because at night I'll put it on, keep my head warm. And the main compartment here opens up. I have dry ducks. This is uh, this is what I use for wet weather. It's the top and bottom, and I also use it as a pillow at night. So it's multifunctional. Uh, it's got a pouch here for a notepad or compass or whatever. It has a pocket here for pencils, pen, um, a sharpening rod. It has another zipper for whatever you want. I 
have my herbal first aid kit. Sorry guys, the camera shut off on me. It's got a mind of its own. So anyway, inside here, I keep my pillow, and my wet weather gear, my herbal first aid kit, which is handy, and my netting. The name is Scarf. So when we have classes at the school, and they're doing my easy uh, compass course, I can wear this and spy on them. <laughs> it's also good at night. At night time when you're trying to sleep and you got mosquitoes flying over yourself, you can double this over and just lay it over your head and you can still breathe and the mosquitoes really can't get through and it's caught. So that is it, I believe. That's why I carry this bag, that's why I spent the, the money to buy it. Um, like I said, it's not common man price, but it is 100 from from ground from the ground up. From the ground up, it's built 100% in Montana by American workers. So that that took the sting out of the price a little bit. It's uh, it's bulletproof. Uh, it's, the fabric is bulletproof. Craftsmanship is bulletproof. I've never had a problem with it. You know, it is on the heavy side, but it's made bulletproof. Anything bulletproof is going to be heavy. Uh, it's multifunctional. You can do all kinds of you can you can do whatever you want. It'll 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 change to fit your needs. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, what else? So. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. I hope I answered everybody's questions. Uh, I hope I'm not leaving anything else out that I do with this thing. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you on the next video, or at school, or whatever, or hopefully in the woods. Take care.